You're listening to Washington Watch. I'm Tony Perkins, your host. So glad to have you with us on this uh, Wednesday afternoon. The website, TonyPerkins.com. At, on Twitter, it's at T. Perkins. Lots of resources, by the way, for you at TonyPerkins.com. As we've been uh, talking about for the last few weeks, many, many churches, in fact, most of the country, under orders not to meet, no assemblies over 10 people. Obviously, that's affected almost every church in America. Some churches, you know, are, as we've talked about, it, are just kind of thinking about what they can't do. But many churches are thinking about what they can do, thinking outside the walls, the thinking outside what I call the box, the four walls of the church, and acting. And really amazing. I, in fact, had conversations today with a number of pastors whose ministries are growing. Yeah, they're growing. You see, when you're serving and meeting needs, good things happen. And ran across this church in Temple, Texas, Trinity Church, where they decided they wanted to minister. And they knew they couldn't meet, but they were going to do it somehow, some way. Joining me now to talk about it is Pastor Ed Dow. He's the senior pastor of Trinity Church in Temple, Texas. Pastor Dow, welcome to Washington Watch. Thank you so much, Tony. It's a blessing to be with you. Well, thank you, and thank you for taking time out to uh, to join us. Uh, let, let's talk a little bit about you had, uh, I think it was a member of your church, had an idea. You guys jumped on it and began to minister to the not just your church, but the community. Share with our listeners kind of what took place. Well, it was uh, pretty much birthed out of a need, uh, wanting to make sure that we could still minister to the community, but with the church doors being shut, how are we going to do that? And uh, just got to thinking with uh, one of our folks here who wanted to do a prayer ministry. Let's do a drive-through prayer ministry. So we thought, well, how can we make this work? And I remembered I had a little 10 by 10 canopy at the house, and we brought it up here to the church and secured it to the church parking lot and got some little hand signs made up, uh, set them out on the road front, and had a drive-through prayer ministry started within about an hour. People eager to have people pray with. I mean, these are just these weren't people in your church. These are just people in the community that saw the signs, right? Oh yes, yes. There's uh, there's a good number of cars that come by our our building here daily. Probably thirty or thirty five thousand cars a day, and uh, the needs are extreme from one extreme to the other. Um, people are coming in uh, requesting prayer for just peace in this time because so many people are troubled, wanting protection over themselves, their families. We've prayed for marriages, children, finances. We prayed for President Trump, that he would have wisdom on how to handle these situations. So you're, what you're saying is that this has been an opportunity for the church to minister in ways that you may not have done before. Yes. And something else is we have not really been promoting any social media or very little social media within our church, but this has forced us to go into the social media realm. And I have been absolutely amazed at the number of people that we have contacted with uh, through, those, through those realms. Uh, the, the prayer here on the street, the social media avenues has really been a blessing to us, and people are being ministered to. To me, that's exciting. It, it, and I was talking about this yesterday with a pastor, how you go back to the beginning of the, the church, and, and everybody was comfortable there in Jerusalem, but they were driven out by opposition, by persecution, by famine, by difficulty, and took the gospel out to places that would not have gotten it otherwise. And, and this yeah. is an opportunity for us to move outside the four walls of the church, not that, not that there's anything wrong with meeting in a church, but this is creating... I mean, as, as churches will embrace the challenge, they'll think creatively, think outside the box, act outside the box. And the, as you just described, and I think you, you can tell us more about how hungry people are for a sense of hope, help, and peace. Yes, we're seeing that. We've had uh, uh, local police officers stop in for prayer. State troopers have stopped in for prayer. Nurses. Um, we just had opportunity after opportunity to minister to the needs of people, people that probably would not have come into the church normally, but because they are in need and there is a readily available place they can pull into, 
uh, they're doing it. We've <laughs> we've had a few people who have said, I've driven by multiple times and I finally got the nerve to come in. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the Lord has met them and he's ministered to them. Um, and we've seen people just just blessed just touched. We've seen healings. We've seen all kinds of good things happen simply because people were hungry and there was somebody there to meet the need and offer them Jesus. So, uh, Pastor Dow, explain a little bit just the mechanics of how it works when you, you set up the tent and, and what, what takes place then? Well, we have the tent set up um, and then we have a few, a few signs on the road front that uh, some of them are kind of like a little wire-formed sign with a paper in the middle, almost like a real estate sign. And uh, we've got different people that are manning it. I I have not been out there but just a few days in the last three weeks. But um, there's been somebody here every day for the last 21 days. And they'll be out waving at folks on the street. They'll be lifting up signs. Um, One of my favorite is prayer is essential. And... uh, Thankfully, we're in Texas. We have a governor that um, has actually mandated that churches are essential, which I'm so right. thankful for that. Yeah. But, you know, we still have to work within the confines and limitations right. of no more than 10 and then the social distancing thing. So the, the people pull up to the tent and they, they stay in their cars. You just pray for them there in their cars, right? That's pretty much it. They'll pull up. Um, we'll ask them if they want us to wear a mask or gloves. Um, some of them say yes, some of them say no. Uh, we've got hand sanitizer, glass, or uh, excuse me, uh, gloves and masks uh, available. So uh, we just try to do the best to meet the needs of the people for the level that they want us to minister to them in. Well, I think, again, challenging times, but exciting times when we em- embrace the, uh, the opportunities before us. Pastor Ed Dow, thank you so much for, uh, for joining us. Well, we appreciate the opportunity. Thank you, Tony. All right. Keep up the good work.